Hey folks, it's the interview queen Alicia Atute and I would like to welcome you to a brand new vlog. As I always say, as you may have been able to guess from the title of this video, today's vlog is a new Q&A. I have so much fun filming these, so I decided after the amazing response from my last Q&A, let's do another. A couple weeks back, I sent out a tweet saying fans, ask me anything. The response was overwhelming. I had so many questions sent my way, so I decided to choose some of my favorites, some of the more quirky, fun, and relatable ones that I'm going to answer for all of you today. Thank you so much to those who submitted questions. It was awesome to see how many people really care and just want to know more about myself, the brand, and what is on the horizon, along with a bunch of random stuff. Now, before we get to the A's to your Q's, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I read every single comment that comes through and truly appreciate it. Now, let's get to the answers to your questions. All right, question number one is from the always lovely Samira, and she's asking, what's your go-to karaoke song? This is difficult, but then it's not. There are a few songs that I tap into, some artists that I try to channel, but my go-to, as far as artists go, it's always Spice Girls. I love Spice Girls. As I've mentioned in previous Q&As and fact videos, they were the first concert I ever went to when I was three, and I hold them very near and dear to my heart. So whenever I do karaoke, I usually either sing Wannabe or Say You'll Be There because those songs vocally have so much attitude, they're so badass, and I, I get into it hard. So those are my two go-tos. Next up, Keith wanted to know, who is your favorite superhero? Now, I had so many favorite superheroes growing up, and that's because I read a lot of comics. But my all-time favorite comic book was... Well, actually, that's a tie. That'd be a lie. Uh, my all-time two favorite comic books were Batman The Long Halloween and then the Ultimate Spider-Man volumes. So... Choosing between Batman and Spider-Man is hard, but I'd have to go with Spider-Man. I love his wit, um, his humor, how clever and cheeky he is, and I also just really like his powers in general. So I have to say Spider-Man is my all-time favorite superhero. And if you agree or you disagree, tell me in the comments because I'm actually super curious who you guys dig. I also want to mention that I have all of the questions on the handy-dandy ambi phone or alicia two phone now with the new case um and i'm really sorry if i mess up these usernames but i believe this is dipped as usual they want to know how many fans asked to see a two toes and this is actually a very funny yet embarrassing question because there is not a day of my life that's gone by in the last two years where i don't get a weird ass dm of some dude asking to see my toes or asking if i walk around barefoot or asking if i like fuzzy socks so you get blocked very very quickly whenever something like that comes my way it is so weird especially when i do instagram q a's like people always ask about my toes and it freaks me out so i don't want any more wiki feet things <laughs> i don't want my page to grow anymore and i never reply to them so stop asking next casey wants to know who is your favorite steel panther member and this is just a cruel question because in every single vlog i bring them up i adore them i freaking love them so I don't know if I can choose one. We have Lexi Fox, Sexy Lexi, who is just a tool, but everyone still loves him. We love his beauty. And then there's Stix It In Ya. <laughs> it's the best name of any superstar I've ever heard, any rock star. Um, and his, his crude humor is probably the crudest of the whole group, and I love him for that. Then we have Michael Starr, the singer balls to the wall and just that alone is a reason for him to be a favorite and then we are left with satchel who also has the extremely crude humor he's freaking hilarious um and he's one of my all-time favorite guitar players the way that he can just riff and literally just effortlessly come out with these crazy ass solos oh, i can't pick one i love all four members of still panther and that will always be the case and now Powerpuff Boy 23 wants to know why do you have an accent? Everyone in the world has an accent. And I guess if you happen to be from somewhere else in the world other than Toronto, Canada, I sound very different to what you might sound like. When I hear myself, obviously I don't think, oh, I have an accent because I think we all don't think that. So I don't know how to answer this question. I apologize, but here's my Canadian accent, eh? How about it? Next is a question from Annette, and she is asking, what do you use for your hair? It's always perfect. Thank you! That is so lovely to hear, because today I was having the most difficult time with my hair ever. When it was down, I looked like I belonged in like a 70s 
a rock band and then when it was behind my ears I felt like my ears looked huge and I'm just having a mess with it today I'm actually really pissed off at my hair so thank you what I use um not much I put Moroccan oil in it so it has that uh, shimmer that it kind of has and that's mainly it once in a while I'll do like a really cheap hair mask that I get from the drugstore and that's usually a Moroccan or argan oil type mask so is it argan oil I think so but that's what I usually do otherwise I let it dry naturally or I blow dry it straighten or curl it I have naturally wavy hair so this is straighten but yes um, I don't mess with it too much but Moroccan oil will literally save your hair so if you want your hair to look nice and shiny get on that because it is the best Here's a wrestling question from Christian, and they're asking, would you participate in an extreme type of match, like a ladder match or elimination chamber, if you had the chance? And the answer to your question is, hell no. I'm a wimp, and I would never do something extreme like that, ever. Demon Bunny Lovebot, ooh la la. They wanna know, what are some of your favorite TV shows currently? Recently, my sister and I binge watched You, which was so good. It's like you watch it and it's about this dude who stalks a girl and eventually convinces her to fall in love with him. It was amazing. We watched it in probably three days the whole season and you have this tug of war in your mind and the writing in it was incredible because you feel so bad for her because he is literally stalking her and that's why they get along so well. He knows everything about her and he's manipulating her to the extreme. But she's an asshole. She's an idiot. Then you have this guy who is the stalker and is practically just a, a predator. But then he's so actually genuine and caring towards other people. And you see both sides of the story and you're like, why do I hate her? Why do I like him? And it's just, it's a mind screw and I'm not the only one who feels like that. So I'm not a horrible human being. But it was such a good show. I also just watched Dirty John. Both of these were Netflix series, I believe. Uh, Dirty John was super good. And I've been watching tons of RuPaul with my sister lately. So, yeah. RuPaul is one of those things. So, the reason we got into it was my dog, or our dog, Emma, passed away about a month ago. And we were really, really sad. Um, understandably so. And we wanted something to watch to kind of lift our spirits. So she came across the show watching with her boyfriend. She was like, hey, you got to check this out. And I was like, all right, sure. And so we started watching it. It is so funny. I, it's one of my favorite shows now. So uh, those are the three I'd recommend. You, Dirty John, and RuPaul. And the final question. Alas, we're at the last one. If you were an extremely successful interviewer, which is such a lovely and sweet and kind way to word this question, uh, what would you be doing? I always like to think in another life that I would be a rock star, <laughs> which sounds so stupid saying it out loud, but I love singing. Now I know I can get out there and perform and do whatever is needed, whatever is requested of me. I really think that I would just be a kick-ass front woman to a band. And I dreamt of that so much when I was a kid, especially when I went through my, like, my Paramore phase with like Dashboard Confessional, The Used, because to me, they were all really cool front men in their different ways and front women. So... I would be a rock star. So everybody, that is it for all of the questions. I just want to say thank you to every single person that submitted one. These are so fun. I just get to be me. I get to speak my mind. I get to think on the spot because I really don't think about the questions until I answer them right now. So thank you. I enjoy filming these and I hope you enjoyed watching just as much. As I mentioned before, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because I have so many new vlogs, travels, adventures, interviews, all that stuff coming your way. So get on that subscribe button. Leave me a comment with any other future questions you have, anything you want to know, any compliments. Oh, I'm always open to taking those. Uh, but honestly, thank you for watching. You already know how much I appreciate you guys. So thank you. I will see you all next time on a brand new vlog. Who knows where it'll be? Maybe my room? Maybe a different country. You never know. Thank you so much, guys. Mwah.